Here we are folks, one month after the release of the album Circles, I'm finally ready to make my album review. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Channel's name is Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you like what you see at the end of this video, consider becoming part of the family and clicking subscribe bottom right hand corner. Now I have sat and listened to circles over and over and I was not ready to make an album review. I wanted to be able to digest the entire thing and give you a clear understanding about what I'm feeling about this album. So here it is, the one month review of the album circles. Enjoy. This review comes a little over a month since the release of the album Circles and there's a reason for that. Max Death hit me harder than any celebrity before and I wanted to enjoy the album as much as I could without worrying about being overly analytical or having to structure my thoughts for a review. I wanted to digest and process the music along with my emotions and give you a clear idea of how I felt about the album. Rushing a review, especially this review, wouldn't do you as a viewer, myself, and most importantly, Mac, any justice. First off, and most importantly, before we get started, it must be said that Mac Miller's family and the producer handled the album and its release as perfect as you could possibly hope for. There's always a fear and negative connotation of profiting from a dead artist that looms over album releases post-death. For example, XXX Tentacion. Every album since X's death has seen bad or negative reviews, and even the album that's not terrible, the most recent album that his label has put out, it just doesn't sound like his soul nor his mind was behind the creation. Circles, on the other hand, is a Mac Miller album from start to finish. Hearing Circles for the first time left me with a feeling as if he was still here with us, as if it was he that had control of the album release. The album feels like the family wanted to share his art with his fans and not for their own interest nor personal gain. The family and the producer knew exactly what Mac meant to his fans and know that when he was ripped from their life, he was also ripped from ours. Because of that, this album feels like they are allowing us to share in his legacy one last time. Now when it comes to the album, Circles is a perfect companion to the album Swimming. Swimming and Circles are like siblings, clear personality differences but the same person at the core. Swimming has clearer hip hop influence with the sound of Circles sprinkled in. A soundscape of funk, hip hop, and surrealism in audio form with classic Mac Miller rap lyrics on top make the Swimming album a masterpiece. In contrast, Circles, while still keeping the foundational undertone of hip hop, has clear inspiration from almost every other genre other than rap. The sound of jazz, electronic synthesizers, and R&B fill this album from front to back, so much so that if you took out Blue World and Hands, this album could easily not even be seen as a rap album. For the casual or curious listener, this could lead to confusion and lack of interest and dismissal of the album, but again, this album is not for the casual listener. This album is for Mac Miller fans who knew the talent that he was and were willing to go with him wherever his creativity took him. Mac's ability to create music that's unlike anything we have seen in rap was one of his defining characteristics characteristics as an artist. He has an elite level of musicality and production skills, instrumentation, lyrical ability, vocal ability, concept creation, production ability, all of it was at the pinnacle and he showed it in the sound of this album. Mac Miller's sound toward the end of his life was so original that the only person that comes to mind as someone who was all around creative in front of the mic and behind the boards is Kanye West. While compared to Kanye West, Mac Miller may have been a niche artist on a global scale, you cannot deny the creativity that the man had while he was alive. To confine Mac Miller's artistry in this album into rap or hip hop is degrading to the artist and musician that he truly was. I can easily say that the people hoping for a rap album, this album is not for them. But at the same time, that sentiment is only gonna pertain to people who were curious about his music after his passing. For the true Mac Miller fan, we knew that we were not gonna get a rap album. We were going to get a Mac Miller album Album and there is a clear difference between the two. Every song and almost every lyric on this album is beautiful and melancholy in its own way. The lyrics, this is what it looks like right before you fall is an eerie opening line to an album released after the tragic death of an artist who we love dearly. The sound contrast between the first song Circles and the second song Complicated is an amazing display of the album's range and versatility. The lyrics inside my head is getting cluttered and I can't seem to clean the mess I've made before I start talking about the future, can I please make it through the day, is another eerie callback after his death to his struggles while he was alive, struggles that eventually took his life. The production of Blue World hits hard with synthesized vocals and a familiar hip hop drum pattern at the heart of the beat. Blue World is a tried and true Mac Miller hip hop track. Good news. There's nothing left to say about good news that hasn't been said already. An amazing, peaceful, and heartbreaking lead single to his final album. The next song after Good News, I Can See, has a dreamy soundscape that fits the lyrics so well. With lyrics like, if life is but a dream, but so are we, this song sounds like what a dream looks like. 
Everybody's hook is a somber reminder that anyone can be taken at any time. Everybody's gotta live and everybody's gotta die. And it's not up to us when that happens. In the song Woods, the combination of synthesizers and a clean drum pattern along with Mac Miller's vocals and smooth delivery of his lyrics makes it a good five minute vibe. It's one of the longest songs on the album and deserves to be at the heart of the album. The song Hand Me Down is the only song that has a feature on the album and the feature is used to perfection. The hook and vocal texture and tonality in contrast to Mac Miller's creates a duo that sounds so effortless together. Let's turn these jeans into hand me downs is such a creative lyric to convey the message of I wanna have a kid with you. The next next song, That's On Me, is the only song in the album that features a 3, 4, or 6, 8 time signature, giving it an airy, carefree, and light feeling of euphoria. My favorite moment of production on the entire album happens about two minutes in when he sings Today I'm Flying and a distortion effect is added to his vocals. Production moments like that is what really takes this album to the next level. The production of the song Hands is amazing, and if it wasn't for Mac Miller being on the track, if it was something that I had heard where it was just the instrumental, I could easily see this production being on Justin Timberlake's dual album project, The 2020 Experience. The second to last song, Surf, is an amazing vibe with loving lyrics. The instrumental solo in the middle of the production is my third favorite moment of production after that's on me's vocal distortion and Blue World's beat drop. And lastly on the album, we have Once A Day, an amazing closing track and literally brings the album full circle back to track one. My overall thoughts on Circles is that this album is a true masterpiece. It's a perfect time capsule to show the world who Mac was and the talent that he left us in awe with. On a scale of one to 10, I rate this album Mac Miller out of 10 because there is no scale that compares. Mac was and will forever remain in his own lane. Thank you for everybody for watching this video. Mac meant a lot to me and he meant a lot to a lot of my closest friends and a lot of y'all out there. So it really means the world to me that y'all guys would sit here and watch my thoughts on his final album or what I hope to be his final album. If he never releases another album again, I'm completely okay with that after this album. If you like what you see, like at the beginning, please consider like and leaving a comment down below. Those things help the algorithm catch the video and send it out there into the recommended section. And that activity helps the channel grow. What else helps the channel grow is you click and subscribe if you like what you saw. Become part of this little community that we've created together. Follow the Discord for the channel, link down in the description below. I'm in there quite often. If you wanna to talk to me, that's the best place to do it. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, also linked down below. And that's it for today's videos, guys and gals. I appreciate y'all's time. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video.